right, I'm going to play some Pac-Man on the Atari 2600. I've, uh, you know, I've had a few videos featuring this game on my Failure Friday segment because I failed three different times in that video. So why not uh, play the damn game for Throwback Thursday? Now, you know, I... I there, this is not a good game. This is not a good... I, I should say this is not a good version of the game. Uh, but I do have a... I don't know, it's, it's the first video game I ever played, so there is some level of nostalgia there with it. I, it, it may be my earliest memory. It's, it's one of them. It's, it, it's one of the most, uh, you know, as far as distinct, vivid, lucid memories that I have. There's a lot of vague memories that I have, but I definitely remember playing this game for the first time, because it was the first, first video game I ever played, and I thought it was the shit. I had nothing to compare it to. I didn't, I definitely didn't know how, what the arcade game was like. What the hell did I hit? A flickering ghost, apparently. Uh, oh, I, come on, I had that one. Ah, oh, That better not be it. Alright, I want to at least get this maze completed. Sheesh. Uh, and I'm not going to! Well, shit. We'll do better this time. Okay, I'm trying to, like, save the, uh... The power pellets. Get the cheese. Yeah, for me, as far as, as far as I'm concerned, that is the cheese. I know it's supposed to be, you know, the fruit or the vitamin or whatever the hell it is. But when I was five years old, I used to eat. I used to like to eat uh, just slices of American cheese right out of the package. Didn't have to be on a sandwich, didn't have to be a topping of any kind. That was one of my go-to snacks, was just a slice of cheese. So, that's why I called it the cheese. It just, I looked at that and I saw a piece of cheese. Man, these things flicker like a motherfucker. I did, I did not see where he was before. Alright, so I did get one maze completed. And it's the same maze. It's the same... Uh, I mean, Pac-Man's... The arcade Pac-Man is one maze, too. But, I mean, at least it's it's got a better designed maze than this. I mean, this is... Very... It's very much... It's the exact same thing. Straight down and straight... Uh, each row. It's, it's, it's the exact same thing. Repeated. Just a mirror image. But, you know... If you would have told... I mean, for me, this was my first video game ever, so... If you would have told me that it was the very first game ever made at all... Then I would have said, hey, they did a pretty good job of it, but... You know, it's... You look at it through rose-colored glasses or nostalgia glasses or whatever, you know, it's a different... You end up with a different result when you really break it down. But it doesn't matter at the end of the day. It is whatever the hell it is. And I, again, I did not see that ghost. I mean, there's a ghost, so you're not supposed to see it, I guess. I'm gonna ignore the ghost and concentrate on my, uh, getting the pellets while I'm in invincibility mode. And if they happen to get my way, then great. But otherwise, all I'm doing at the end of the day is just, uh, sending them out of their, uh, vulnerable stage a little bit earlier. I tend to... When I play Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, whatever, once I get toward the, uh, latter half of the game... 
well, latter half of the game. Once I get a few stages in, I'm generally using that strategy of not bothering eating any ghosts. Or at least, you know, going out of, out of my way to do that. It's weird how these ghosts will... Oh, you motherfucker! I thought I was gonna at least get half of that before they killed me. Oh, well. So, that was Pac-Man on Atari. Very flawed. Not a good game. Not a good rendition of the game at all. But it does... Uh, I, I do hold a lot of nostalgia toward it because of all the reasons I explained earlier. And whenever I sit down to play it, uh, that's what I remember. Uh, you know, I remember the the day when I first opened up a box and pulled out a video game and it changed my life. So, there it was. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes this edition of Throwback Thursday. See you later.